In this section, I'm going to show you how to use the indirect function in combination with other functions like sum. You'll recall earlier in the course I showed you how to use the offset function. And the offset function can allow us to make this dynamic. So for example, we can have the sum of three periods, or whatever number we type in here, like five periods. Now this is the five-year total. I press three, this is the three-year total. We can do a similar type of function with indirect. So with indirect, essentially what we do is, if I wanted to take the sum of all of these cash flows here, I would be summing from E40 to I40. Indirect is going to replace the actual linking with just the names of those cells. And what I mean is this. I'm going to say here, start column, end column, and the row number. So the starting column is column E. The ending column is column I. And the row number is 40. And here, I'm going to say that the sum of free cash flow. So the sum of the free cash flow is going to be equal to indirect. And I want to start in cell E ampersand to join these two, E40. This joins E and 40. Close bracket. Until, I want to sum until I ampersand 40. That creates I40, which I'm going to put inside of indirect. And then close bracket again. So when I do that, I get a sum of 1.7 million. Let's just check and see if that's working correctly by manually summing these. And I get the same number. So I see that this is working. Now let's play around with it. What if I only want three years? I want to go, instead of to column I, I want to go to column G. Let's type G here. And now I just get 100. And 100 is the sum of those three. I could also move this to a different row. Let's say, for example, I wanted to move it to interest payments. Interest payments is row 34. I type 34 here. And if I look at the sum of those three, uh, it's this number here. So we see that this is working correctly. So this is now a very dynamic and a very nifty little tool that you can use here. I'm just going to move that over one cell and uh, highlight this a different color just so it stands out a bit. But here's a very dynamic, very neat little tool for pulling information.